we started changing our habits. Like before, when we got newly married, we weren't super um, serious about the weekly thing where we asked each other um, the three questions. Pag nag-date ka, my three questions being, how have I hurt you this week? Will you forgive me? And how can I do better? Mm-hmm. Guys, I'm Wancho. And I'm Joyce. And this is One Choice for All. Ginaganahan ka na ba? Tara, bago na. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of One Choice for All. Kamusta naman kayo? Namis namin kayo ha? Welcome <laughs> back to it. At alam mo naman love, we always love getting in touch with our fans and our yes. followers online. Uh-huh. Kaya naman this episode is very special dahil we will be featuring some of their questions for us. Oh, so, that, ako, ang balita ako, our, our team did do a good job gathering all these questions. Mm-hmm. At uh, balita ko, matachallenge daw talaga tayo. Dito. Talaga? May oh, challenge. Nakita ko yung producer natin kanina. Gawa, ganun, ang ganda talaga ng mga questions na to. <laughs> As in, parang mga two, two minutes before I, I'm currently talking. Oh, okay. Oh. Maganda. Maganda yan, maganda yan. Kaya naman, oh. welcome to the first ever episode of Hashtag Ask One Choice. Hi, Joyce. I'm Anna. Hope you're well and safe. Um, before I ask my question, I just want to share with you that I really enjoy listening to your podcasts because I feel like um, we have the same print, we share the same principles. And I en- enjoyed it especially during the time when we were in strict quarantine. Um, it helped me keep my mind busy. And um, I just want to share this certain podcast because it has something to do with the question that I'm going to ask you. I think this was the first podcast that you had during quarantine and you were with Wancho that time. You shared something about your problems um, as a newly married couple and into this pandemic. You said something about petty problems that were rooted to something deeper. So I'm just curious and then I want to ask how different or maybe can you compare how different your problems were before to your problems now and then share with us how you and Juan should dealt with it. Wow. Oh. Ang profound naman ng question. Ang galing ni Anna. Uh-uh. Thank you, Anna, for Thank that wonderful you, question. <laughs> yeah, I remember us doing that podcast together because yeah. parang we wanted to share with everyone how you know being newly married and instantly quarantined was not easy, and we had to deal with a lot of challenges, mm-hmm. a lot of adjustments. Um, were there any? Was there anything particular that changed over the course of time, love? What do you think? Well, I think the understanding aspect um, has strengthened and understanding yung yung mga rules of engagement when it comes to uh, kapag may high in, on emotion na, uh, how do we approach and how do we show love to another person na ma-appreciate ng partner niya. And same goes to, to also you, diba? So, I think that's one of the things that we've learned last year yeah. is how to tether that and how to um, just... Uh, you know, love unconditionally. Mm, totoo. And yun nga, parang, I think, Anna, what really changed for us is we started to identify the root causes of the petty problems that we had. Yeah. So, for example, kung meron kami mga petty fights, instead of addressing the petty fight itself, we'll go back and see, saan ba nanggagaling tong hurt na to? Saan ba nanggagaling tong trauma na to? Or yung pain na to? And then, we started changing our habits. Like, before, when we got newly married, we weren't super... Um, um, serious about the weekly thing where we ask each other um, the three questions pag nag-date ka my three questions being how have I hurt you this week will you forgive me and how can I do better mm-hmm. and we actually learned that also because we went through counseling during the pandemic and we we like talking about that kasi a lot of people have a taboo understanding of counseling uh-huh. na hindi magka-counseling ka lang pag may problema na kayong malaki or pag talagang malala na yung problem but counseling 
journaling is really good for your mental health and also for the mental health of your spouse and you together. Especially us, we're young and we're trying to figure out both our personal identities and also our our you know our things as a couple. So, kailangan talaga ng ganong guidance. So, oh. I think that's what's changed. Yeah, when you when you bring things to light and try to address it head on with mm-hmm. your spouse, I think it really helps to just unload it. There's no shame in that naman mm-hmm. because syempre mas pipiliin ko na masolve yung or mag, mag put down tayo ng pride and to let everything mag 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 all in ka ng mga cards kaysa di ba parang mas masira pa yung ulo mo or mm-hmm or uh, mas magkaroon kayo ng problema in the future. And I like what Wancho said to me last night, actually, nung date night namin. Parang sabi niya sa akin, I'd much rather be straightforward. I'd much rather you be straightforward with me na hindi ka makafeel lang any shame. Just tell me the truth and I'll be there with you to figure it out. Kasi, yun nga, eh, once you become very honest with each other, mm-hmm. wala kang itatago sa isa't isa. And yun yung pinaka nakakatakot eh. Pag nag-start ka magtago ng mga issues, ng mga hurt, mm-hmm. ng mga nararamdaman mo, dun nagbe-build up yung mga distrust and some problems. So, I think that's what's really happened. And, of course, we realized the spiritual battle in it all, especially during the pandemic. So. Thank you, Anna, for that question. Thank you, Anna. Moving Love on. it. Hi, I'm Aya, and I wanted to ask what your biggest pet peeves of each other are. Oh, ho, ho. Hi, Aya. Alam ko na yung kay Joyce. Ano? Getting out of, of the shower with my goodness, I have no idea. Dalawa-dalawa yung tuwaya na nilalagay ko sa banyo. Bakit hindi ginagamit ni Wancho? He would go straight from the shower. Feeling ko magpapat lang siya ng konti. Tapos sihiga na siya sa kama. Tapos parang ako napapasa yung unan ko. Then try yun sa CR din. Oh, yung, yung floor ng CR. The floor of the bathroom is just wet. As in, yun, pet peeve ko yun sa kanya. Kaya lumibot na ako ng CR eh. Hindi na ako sa master's <laughs> bed. Hindi <laughs> siya. No, ano sa guest room? Doon na ako nag-iigib na ako sa labas. Okay, <laughs> doon may... <laughs> may poso pala sa labas. May poso doon ako niligo. <laughs> Oo, oh, yeah, that's true. Your pet peeve with me. I think it's... Uh, Don't it's, be afraid, love. It's okay. <laughs> it, it is a safe space. <laughs> this I'm is a safe space. Don't worry, I won't take it against you. <laughs> ah, okay, alam ko na. So, si Joyce kasi, meron siyang ginagawa sa akin na... Or, I don't know if you do it on purpose. Kakain kami, kakain kami. Tapos, kapag kinakain, habang kinakain ko na yung last piece, like, for example, a, a pizza, she'll then say that I was saving that. <laughs> <laughs> Pero ang tagal niya na hindi ko makain. Tapos ako parang sobrang, syempre, sobrang guilty mo, di ba? <laughs> Tapos gusto ko iluwa eh. Di ko lang nalang iluwa ako yung, yung, yung pizza or... Yeah, so, you know, so parang reverse ano yun, reverse pet peeve. You don't like it, and then yeah, like it, that's you know, true. That's something true. To, yeah, um, I guess I do that all the. I don't. Okay, so pero kasi ako weird habit of like leaving one last piece. Tapos gusto ko muna i-process yung mga kinain ko, magumuni muna ako. Takain ako ng konting dessert because I like sweet things with salty food. Uh-huh. So, kukain muna ako ng sweet and then I leave one salty food para I can eat the salty food after I eat the sweet food that I just wanted. So, that's why laging kinakain and I end up nakakain yung watch. <laughs> Ayun lang. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. That's it. Okay. But Next. we love each other very much. Bawi bigla so, lang ba? Oo, naman kami bigla. <laughs> okay. I want to enjoy. My name is Fonso, and my question is actually for Wancho. When would you know when you are ready to get married? And what were the factors you took into consideration when you asked the question? I would. I'm actually curious. I'm then di taka bang. Tignan natin. Uh, a relationship. Well, before we got into a relationship i already set my mind na the next girl that i was going to you know take seriously na diligaw ko talaga take seriously talaga so meron mga girls that you won't take seriously <laughs> hindi naman hindi naman to di, di ba hey, para di ano yan uh, levels yan parang uh, sige uh, exploration phase parang getting to know phase <laughs> tapos yung <laughs> conquistador <laughs> tapos tapos yun na yung ano after na yun na yung oh, things are getting serious na uh, i'm i'm gonna meet the parents 
yun yun. So God anyway. Said so he said I love you to me two weeks after we started dating. Dahil, so. dahil, dahil <laughs> palagi tayo mag-isama sa ulang hindi. Anyway, <laughs> so when I uh, when I told myself that, I was telling my friends that, sinasabi ko na na parang okay na ako in, in life. I, I, I want to get married already. I want to start a family early. I want to see uh, my children grow ng bata rin ako. So that was before the relationship. And then, when Joyce and I got into the, into a relationship, we actually did talk Now we wanted to... Joyce laid out her cards na X, Y, and Z. And she, she doesn't want to, to play around. And parang the same din sa akin. <laughs> yeah, no, I told Wancho. May I yeah, add? Yeah. I told Wancho. Kasi pinipilit niya na gusto niya akong ligawan. And I kept saying no, di ba, love? Yeah. Because I said, huwag muna akong ligawan. Kasi kung maglalaro ka lang, ayoko nang ganun. Pag nandigaw ka sa akin, dapat may intention ka of getting married. Meron ka bang intention of getting married? And it's just like, as in, we only knew each other for a couple of weeks. weeks but I wanted to set those boundaries already na I'm going to wait until we get married. Yeah. I don't want to get anything um, serious until we're married. And unless you're serious about getting married, ayoko. Uh-oh. So, sabi niya, gusto niya daw din magpakasa. So, gusto nagulat ko talaga. ako. Oh, gusto yeah. ko talaga. I think... But what led up ko, to that? Like, yun, yun, yun hindi ko alam. I think... Uh, I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know what led up to the decision of me like going into the relationship of telling myself that I want to get married already or I want to at least build up to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's a personal preference. No, nobody, uh, nobody influenced me. Um, I think that in, in show business also, I think it's, it's premature to, to get married at you know at 25. <laughs> Kaya para sa akin it was you know it, it was my something that I wanted for myself. Yeah. So actually starting with that decision na gusto ko na talaga gusto kong mag, mag uh, start ng family early. I don't want to waste my time. I want to grow with someone. Uh, and then after noon when we got together na nga, Building up to that is one of the things that we worked on also. Like, yun nga, we, we went to, we weren't engaged yet, but we, since we already uh, laid the cards on the table na sinasabi natin na gusto natin ikasal in the future, we went through this premarital counseling that you were mentioning earlier yeah. that actually tested our relationship na parang, are we compatible? Uh, is this going to work out? Marriage is no joke, etc., etc. So uh, when we were going through that, we kind of figured out what it was like, and then yun na naman yung isa pang decision na kapag tatanay mo na yung question na will you marry me is the next thing. So after noon, parang you're going to ask yourself na parang sige ready ka na ba? Every everything is in check. Ready ka na? Ready na ba yung bank account mo? <laughs> pumayag ba yung parents mo? Pumayag ba yung parents niya? Uh, do you think you're, 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 um, you're financially ready at least to, to, you know, to, to pull a couple of things off? Like engagement <laughs> ring, <laughs> <laughs> engagement ring, etc, etc. And one, once those things are in place, pagbubasan mo lang talaga siya. At uh, marami ka talagang out of, out of your control. And, uh, ayun, so, siguro, one of the things that made me know that si Joyce is the one na talaga is, nung naka, sobrang simple lang, at sinabi ko na yan multiple times, nung nakasundo niya yung family and friends ko, nang, nang unang beses pa lang, tapos yun, parang sabi ko na, ah, wala na to, eto na talaga yan, on the way na to, so, yun ah, <laughs> nag-engage kami, kinasabi kami, at nabuntis. <laughs> okay. So I think that's it. I hope I answered your question, Fonso. I, I, marami akong gusto sabihin about that also. Pero yun na yun, yun yun. Okay, it started, it started with a decision yeah. and then worked our way into what we have right now.